I use a sensory table in my classroom all the time as a station. I was lucky enough to inherit the sensory table from a dear friend of mine who used to teach with me. Um, her son actually made it for her out of an old door, so the main part is a door, and he built the wood box underneath that actually fits these Sterilite tubs perfectly. So these Sterilite certain size tubs just slide down in, and then the corn is not being dumped out of the table. Whatever I have isn't being dumped out into a table that I can clean up later. It just stays in the tub. So this week I had a question on Facebook about how I use corn and where I get it from. We're lucky enough in the community that we live in to have a lot of farmers and a teacher on our team actually has a farming family. So she got us all this corn from a grain bin um, from someone she knew. But you can find other places or contact somebody you know that's a farmer. I think they sell this kind of stuff for feed for animals, um, for squirrel feeders or things like that. So, um, so we talk about corn a lot this time of year for fall and for harvesting in our farming community. But this week we're doing an ABC hunt. So I take magnetic letters, all of the ones that I have, A through Z, one of each to make it a little easier to start. And I teach the kids to hide them just by throwing them in the table and then pushing them down. So they push them down to bury them. And they know to do that when they're done at this station to hide them to get ready for the next group. So what they're going to do as a team is they're going to work together using a guide. So they have their ABC guide, A to Z, and tweezers. So they know the rule is that they can touch the corn with their hands to move stuff around and try to find letters. But they have to pick the letters out with the tweezers. And I got these great um, jumbo tweezers from Learning Resources. I picked them up at a local teacher store. They are an awesome tool to um, strengthen fine motor muscles. Um, so they pick out the letters, they say it, they say the sound, they come up with a word that it starts with, and then they have to match it up on their sheet. So they lay the G on top of the G, for example. Um, it's pretty easy for them to work as a team and do this, so eventually after they've gone through it once or twice, I take out the uppercase letters and I put lowercase letters in, and they use the lowercase letters and match to their guide on their paper. And when they're done, this doesn't take super long, so they love to play in the corn. You'd be surprised at the things they come up with to do with this. So they play in it, they fill out buckets that I have. I've got some old science beakers that we use, and funnels that I made out of pop bottle containers. So we use tops of two liter bottles as a funnel, turns up and use the corn. So very easy sensory bin station. If you can get some corn in a sterilite tub, get some funnels, get some tweezers, and magnetic letters, and you've got a great center the kids will spend a lot of time at playing and learning. We learn through play in my classroom, and this is just another example of how we do it. So thanks for tuning in. Um, keep checking Teachers Learn 2, the number 2.com. Check it out on Facebook, Teachers Learn 2, on Twitter, Instagram, hashtag Teachers Learn 2, T O O, and Teachers Learn 2 is a hashtag with the number 2 as well. So post questions, comments, anything you have about sensory tables or any of the videos we've done. Don't forget every Thursday at 11.45 a.m. Central Time, we do our Periscope Lunch Party on here live, where I take your questions. We talk about a different um, area or technology or something each week. So we did an Osmo one this week. Check that out on our YouTube channel. Um, but please subscribe. Please like. Share this around. Hashtag Teachers Learn 2 for comments and questions. Um, and we'll be back soon with another video. So thanks for watching today's video. I'm Adam, and we'll see you guys soon.